Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use Font Awesome with Ionic Framework and this tutorial is going to work with Android and iOS. The advantage to using um, Font Awesome versus the stock Ionic icons is that Font Awesome comes with 400 plus glyph icons whereas Ionic Icons only has so many. I don't, I don't know the exact count off the top of my head, but it, it's certainly not as many as Font Awesome. So let's go ahead and start by creating a new Ionic Framework project on your desktop. And then we're going to go ahead and add the Android platform. If I were on a Mac, I'd also be adding the iOS platform, but because I'm on Ubuntu Linux, I will not be adding it because it's not compatible. But this tutorial works perfectly fine with iOS as well, so don't worry. So now that you've got your project on your desktop, let's go ahead and open it. But we're not going to work on it yet. We're first going to go ahead and download the, the Font Awesome font package. So go ahead and navigate to the Font Awesome website and click download. After it's finished downloading, let's go ahead and extract it. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and, and copy the, the entire fonts folder into our www uh, root folder of our Ionic project. So it'll just be in, in the www folder. So the next step that we're going to do is we're actually going to add these fonts uh, to your CSS so that way you can start using them. So open up your CSS styles file. And this is where all of your custom Ionic uh, CSS goes. So let's go ahead and add this font face. We're going to call this font family font awesome. And now we're going to add a bunch of sources. Let's go ahead and copy this because it's going to be the same. Alright, we had to add all of these sources because different browsers expect different things and in order to, to maximize our compatibility, we want to go ahead and include all of them. And lucky for us, uh, Font Awesome includes all of these files out of the box for us. Uh, it makes things really easy when making our cross-compatible Ionic Framework um, project with Font Awesome. So now that we've, got, we've gone ahead and we've, in, we've included our font family, now we need to actually add some CSS for uh, adding an actual icon. So in your style.css file, go ahead and add the following.
So what I went ahead and did was I created an icon that is a Google Wallet icon. Now you might be asking where did I get this content value from? So going back to the Font Awesome website, wherever it is, here it is, we're going to go to icons and then what happens is you can go ahead and click on them and the value that we care about is the Unicode value. So you could use the Unicode value for any of these fonts and include them in your CSS file. And that's exactly what I did. So here's, here's the part that matters here. Now we're going to go ahead and we're going to go back and we're going to open up our index.html file. We're going to go ahead and create a button with that icon. Now, if everything went smooth, we're going to open it up in Firefox and notice that icon is there. And it is, it's there. So, to go ahead and confirm, we're going to go ahead and build it for Android. Let me go ahead and uninstall my old project while it's building. Again, if you're on a Mac, you can go ahead and build for iOS. It's just that I cannot. Alright, now that it's built, we can go ahead and install it. And let's run it. And as you can see, we've got a button with a Google Wallet uh, icon on it. And just like that, you have you have so many icons at your finger at your fingertips here. It's just it's just awesome. Uh, if you if you liked my video tutorial, please subscribe to my channel. There is also a write up on my code blog on my website, which you can access a full write up on this video tutorial. Uh, please go ahead and subscribe there as well. Uh, there's going to be a lot more great videos to come. Thank you.